Hello students hope you all are fine in the last class we have started with the topic immunization and its importance and we also covered various diseases like mumps measles chickenpox tuberculosis and their vaccinations today we'll start with the disease diphtheria diphtheria is a bacterial infection that mainly affects the nose and throat of a person it can also affect the skin this disease is caused by the bacteria called cornibacterium diphtheria diphtheria is highly contagious and it spreads when infected person coughs or sneezes and droplets of their saliva enter another person's mouth or nose this occurs in children below 6 years of age mostly in winter season diphtheria is not only treatable but also preventable through the vaccine dtap next disease is pertussis which is also known as whooping cough it is a highly contagious respiratory disease which is caused by the bacterium bordetella pertussis it is an airborne disease which spreads easily through the coughs and sneezes of an infected person people are infectious to others from the start of symptoms until about 3 weeks into the coughing fits but this can be prevented by the vaccine dtap that is for diphtheria tetanus and acellular pertussis dtap vaccinations are routinely given within 6 years of age next one is tetanus also known as lockjaw or trismus it is an infectious disease characterized by muscle spasms it is the most common type of spasms begins in the jaw and then progresses to the rest of the body the cause of tetanus is the bacteria clostridium tetanae it is often found in soil dust the bacteria present in this soil through the injury enters the body then produce a neurotoxin that causes muscle spasms these spasms usually last a few minutes each time and occur frequently for 3 to 4 weeks but this infection can be prevented by proper immunization with the tetanus vaccine the name of the vaccine is tetanus toxoid which can be given to the children under the age of 7 years and in a combined vaccine with diphtheria and pertussis known as dtp or dtap next one is rubella rubella is a contagious disease caused by a virus it is also called german measles but the virus leading to this rubella is different from the virus which leads to measles the people who get rubella usually have mild illness with symptoms like low grade fever sore throat and rash that starts from the face and spreads to the rest of the body some people may also have headache pink eyes and general discomfort before the rash appears during pregnancy rubella can cause miscarriage or serious birth defects in an unborn baby for the prevention of rubella mmr vaccine should be given between 1 to 12 years of age the first dose of vaccine should be given to the children at 12 months to 15 months of age and the second dose at 4 years to 6 years of age 
The last disease we are going to cover is polio which is also known as polymyelitis. It is a contagious viral disease caused by a virus which attacks the nervous system which can cause paralysis, difficulty in breathing and sometimes death. Children under 5 years of age are more likely to contract with the virus than any other group. Polio is prevented through the vaccine called IPV that is inactivated polio virus vaccine or OPV that is oral polio virus vaccine. IPV is given in an injection form on leg or arm depending on the patient's age whereas OPV is given orally to the child in four doses as recommended. These vaccines should be given from birth to five years of age. For the eradication of polio from our country, our government has introduced polio campaign in all parts of the country to give polio medicine orally to all the children under 5 years of age and this helps in successfully eradicating the disease from the country. So students, today we have covered the rest of the diseases and the vaccinations. In the end, I would like to say immunization can save our child's life. We get our children immune with the help of vaccination. Vaccinations are safe and effective as they activate the immune system without making the children sick. And it helps in the prevention of dangerous infectious diseases. So every child should be vaccinated to be healthy. With this, we have come to an end of this chapter. Thank you.